In functional medicine, we talk about metabolic detoxification as it relates to a nutrient requiring process, meaning that it's really important that we give to the body certain foods, nutrients, or actives from different botanicals or herbs or different foods in order to prime these pathways in the body. They have to be run and supported through these cofactors. The liver is one of the main hubs of these processes. So when I think of liver health, first and foremost, I think of protein, because protein supplies the substrate for a lot of the enzymes that run these processes, as well as a number of the different conjugates or the accompanying factors that move those things out of the liver. So things that are rich in sulfur, different amino acids would be helpful for that. I also think about things that would help with antioxidant status. Because the liver is such a pivot point of so much of this metabolic reaction, we start to get a lot of free radicals that develop by way of moving toxins out of the body. What I love about the IFM Detox Food Plan is that it was specifically created in such a way to provide nutrients to the liver. So the way that it's broken out is with the foods to include and then certain therapeutic foods. And some of the foods that we highlighted as very beneficial would be foods that are high in protein in order to, again, get those different amino acids to help with the process of conjugation through the metabolic detoxification pathways. The other thing that we have in the food plan is foods rich in sulfur. So non-starchy, high sulfur containing vegetables. So things like the brassica vegetables, the cruciferous vegetables as you might know them as, broccoli, cauliflower, kale, Brussels sprouts. A lot of these different foods are very supportive of the different pathways in the liver. So we took that into account in the development of the IFM Detox Food Plan.